you have your Bibles with you and you'd like to open those, go ahead and be turning to Lamentations chapter 3. Lamentations chapter 3, uh, specifically verses 22 through 27. I typically read from the New King James Version, uh, but in my study, I uh, was looking at some different, different, uh, different versions and I really liked how the New International Version had, uh, had this displayed, so I'll be reading, uh, be reading from that version. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. It is good to, to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man to bear the yoke while he is young. Now, I'm not going to break down this entire passage uh, because, as we know, we could probably do several lessons on just these few verses. Uh, but for our, our focus tonight, I do, would like to emphasize just a few points uh, from what we've read. His compassions do not fail. And I think this is something we need to focus on every day because he feels for us at all times. He provides what we need at all times. And it's new every morning. There's a fresh supply. God does not give us a quota. God does not limit us on his compassions. And I've read this probably a dozen times in my life, and I never made the application that just what I just said, God does not limit, limit us by his compassions. He provides new compassions for us daily. And what an awesome comfort we have in that. Faithfulness means to be steadfast, reliable, firm. It's one you can depend on at all times in all situations. This is God. This is what he provides for us. Hebrews 13 and verse 8 tells us that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God has not nor will not change. God is always good. His goodness comes to us in his time and not ours. That is something I have struggled with in the past. Probably some of you have as well. We pray for something, we want something, we think we've got to have it now. But as we know, it's in God's time, not ours. Romans 8 and verse 28, we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to his purpose, God will always provide what is best for us. Folks, if you don't take Anything else, hear anything else I stay, say tonight, hear these next few words. Stop worrying about what you can't control. Give it all to God, and he will provide what is needed in his time. And again, I'm preaching more to me than I am to anybody else, because we're all guilty of it. In God's time, not ours, don't worry about the things that he controls. He's got it. He don't need our help. Finally, God's goodness provided us a Savior. John verse 3 and verse 16, as we all know, for God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Another awesome thought. Another compassion given to us to have that hope of eternity through his Son. Tonight, if you're in need of his compassions or his salvation or his mercy, or if there's anything you need to do to make your life right again, we'd ask you to come forward tonight as we stand and as we sing. Yeah.